Oracle eBusiness Suite architecture. So far, uh, we have looked at the eBusiness Suite architecture, how it evolved from uh, mainframe to a three-tier architecture. And uh, then we looked at the application technology layer, which uh, lies between the technology stack and the Oracle product specific modules. Now, in, the, in this uh, segment, we will be looking at uh, the file structure on how the files are stored uh, on, in the application server, uh, on the application tier and on the database tier. So the, on the database uh, server, uh, the data or the data top directory is located on the database server and it contains the system table spaces, redo log files, data table spaces, uh, and the database files. Right. And the DB directory, uh, which is located on the database server, contains the Oracle home for the Oracle RDBMS. So uh, on the database server, the data top or the data directory contains all the database files um, uh, which kind of store all the data that is being uh, uh, generated from using the Oracle applications. And the actual database software itself is stored under the DB directory or the DB top directory. Now on the application tier, you have uh, three top level uh, directories. One is called the Apple top or APPL. One is the Oracle top or the Aura top. And then the common top or COMN. Now the Apple top directory contains the, uh, the product directories and files for Oracle applications. Right. So this is where all the Oracle eBusiness Suite uh, product files are located. Now the uh, the order directory uh, contains the Oracle Home. Uh, it's the Oracle Home for the applications technology um, stack. So all the technology stack uh, that is required uh, to run the application tier, all that software is under the the Aura directory. And under the common uh, folder, you have all the common files such as the log, output, HTML, and the Java files that are uh, associated with the application tier. Right. And uh, one of the other things is the Oracle applications, it supports now the, um, by having this logical uh, tiers, Oracle enables uh, a, a particular information to have a different version of the database server and a different version of uh, the applications program using the different tool sets. Uh, so this kind of enables uh, the Oracle uh, or a customer to kind of, let's say they might be on a 10G RDBMS, but they might be using the Oracle uh, 9 uh, version uh, tool set. Okay. So, and uh, this model allows Oracle to support features in uh, later database, uh, in a later uh, database server versions while still maintaining the compatibility with an earlier release. Okay. Now the common top directory contains directories and files used across the products, right? The, the log and the out directories contain the log and output files for the concurrent managers. The install directory contains scripts and log files uh, used by the install, the rapid install during the installation. And the scripts directory, it contains the scripts to start and stop the services such as listeners and the concurrent managers uh, within the application. Now, the Apple top uh, directory, this is where all the application files are stored. So the rapid install, uh, which is the program that is used to install the uh, Oracle eBusiness Suite, it saves uh, uh, the name of the database name. Uh, so for example, if the database name is called uh, dev, uh, it would use dev underscore APPL directory in the Apple top environment setting. So you would have uh, under the Apple top, you would have the 
the database name dot environment name and uh, so in, in on a particular box you can have multiple databases running uh, so the kind of attaching the database name uh, to the apple top directory kind of uh, enables uh, the database administrator to identify between uh, differentiate between the different versions of uh, e-business suite that is running so uh, on a big box you can have a, a development instance a uh, a QA instance and a testing instance. So depending on what those uh, uh, instances are called, depending on what they are named, the Apple top directory is named appropriately. And under each, um, under the Apple top, you have uh, each product top directory. So for example, uh, GL would have, G, uh, under Apple top, you'll have, uh, for GL, you have GL top. For AP, you have AP top, uh, so on and so forth. And uh, these uh, tops contain subdirectories uh, for those product files. So any, pro any files that are related to the GL, uh, which include the forms, the reports, and other files that are used to upgrade the database are uh, stored under this particular uh, uh, directory. Now, for uh, uh, if you have AP here, you would have uh, so under the Apple top you have a GL top, and then for AP you would have AP top, and it would contain again um, all the respective uh, subdirectories uh, within that uh, module. So that uh, covers the the apps uh, file structure, and uh, in the next segment we will go over the, the data model uh, for the applications.